Good morning, good morning. How are you guys today? Happy Tuesday, June 14, 2022. It's Robin Jonah Rosenhouse. I am here with your daily energy report. <sighs> We've got more, more, more of the unknowns showing up today. So let's get this shared out. And then that noise that you hear in the background on and off is uh, is R. The dogs have their plastic water bottle. So, and now little Izzy is busting Angel's chops because Angel is quietly sleeping and sitting in his doggy bed and Izzy cannot have that. He just cannot have that. Anyway, so let's get started. Like I said, today we're, we're looking at the unknowns again. And the unknown can be a little disconcerting for some people, right? We, because, again, the, the, the first place we go when there are unknowns is fear. And the thing is, if you allow yourself to get connected with your inner awareness, you know so much more than you realize. Like, I, I always laugh when I am coaching a client or counseling somebody or doing a reading. It's like, by the time I'm done, there are many times where I'll just sit there and go, I didn't even know I knew that. Like, where did that information come from? And I bet the same thing happens for you. Like when you're helping somebody else, it's like all of a sudden the unconscious becomes conscious. You've become aware of what you know. So rather than moving into that automatic habit of fear and worry and concern, Ask yourself, what do I know about this that I don't even know that I know? What information do I have about this that I don't know I'm aware of? How can I become aware of it? You'll really be surprised at what shows up. And if that doesn't work as, as fast as you want it to, ask to be shown the truth of the situation. Show me the truth about this. It'll always work. It always work. Now, it doesn't always show up today. Sometimes it takes a couple of days. And sometimes it actually does show up today and you don't recognize it. So show me the truth in a way that I'm going to recognize it immediately. Show me the truth about this in a way that I'm going to recognize it immediately. Or... What I said earlier, what, what do I already know about this that I don't even know? Show it to me in a way that I'm going to recognize it quickly and easily and immediately. Or in a way that's fast, fun, and simple. That's my new mantra, fast, fun, and simple. Actually, fast, fun, easy, and simple. Easy and simple aren't always the same thing. So, but the thing is, with these unknowns, they have the potential to move you into a space that gets you closer to what it is you're asking for. And I even hate to say asking for. It's the universe. You're telling it what you want. It's not asking. The universe doesn't decide whether or not you can have what you're asking for. Doesn't decide if you're worthy of it or not. Like you decide that. And you can decide that you're gonna have it anyway. That's, you know, and that's my big thing. I, you know, we laugh at, you know, in, in the personal development community, we try not to label ourselves. At the same time, I find that there are certain labels and identifications 
that somehow give me internal permission to be more of myself. And so one of those things is, you know, I kid around and I call myself a proud card carrying Leo. And that's just it. Like, like, you know, Leos don't deny themselves. And by, st by connecting myself with that energy of Leos don't deny themselves and Leos are courageous. It gives me a tangible way of connecting to an energy and a way of being that I want more of. Leos all want luxury. Oh man, I can tell you I do. And sometimes when I'm in that space of, you know, yeah, I want more luxury, I want more this, I want more that, um, those negative thoughts will get into my head. And so then I got to take time, you know, getting myself in the mindset to ignore them and redirect my thoughts. But by remembering that I identify as a proud card carrying Leo, all of a sudden it's like, of course I want the luxury. Of course I want the fancy this and the fancy that. Of course I want to be treated like royalty. I'm a Leo, <laughs> right? And, you know, look for that within you as you start moving through the unknowns and getting a little, getting worried about it. What, what is within you? What label? How can you use a label as a way of being more of yourself? Nothing is all good or all bad. So when people, you know, when, when this, even in, in the spiritual community too, it's like, let's get rid of all the labels and blah, blah, blah. Some labels can serve you. If you can keep your head about yourself and if you can remember that this is only one aspect of you and keep it from putting you in a box, a label can actually serve you. It can help you get more connected with your identity and who you are. At the same time, you don't want to get so connected to it that you don't allow yourself to grow. So there's, uh, it take, and I don't want to say a balance. There, it takes some finessing to play around with it and find what's going to work for you in the way that's going to work for you. The fact that every time I remember that I'm a Leo, it lightens my energy and it makes me laugh and gives me permission to say, mm hmm, yes, I do want the biggest diamond. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm going to get it. But it's like, yeah, let me just, when, when I admit it, I feel better because I'm acknowledging me. So you can do that too. And everything that you see that's bad about yourself, look at the other side. What is good about it? I mean, Leo's, yeah, they're, they're known selfish. Yeah, so what? That's not true about me. That's not a, a trait that I've taken on. Now, I'm not going to say it's never true. There are times where I'm just like, oh, man, I'm just going to be freaking lazy. And I want what I want. And I'm going to be stubborn. And I'm going to be selfish. There are times. But look, if I was truly selfish, I would not be sitting here six days a week sharing insights with you every day for uh, six days a week. I wouldn't be doing it. I don't get paid for this. Instead, I want to share, though. I get to share. So it's not true that I'm innately selfish. And you aren't either. So back to this, these unknowns, what can you connect to within yourself? What can you connect to within your identity that 
moves you through the fear. And let it be a, a slow and steady progression. Let it move you through the fear in a slow and steady progression. Let it move you through the ability to say yes to what it is you really want in a slow and steady progression. Slow and steady is okay because it's still progress. And we forget that too. You know, sometimes, you know, when I say fast, easy, fun, and simple, my definition of fast might differ from what my energy is aligned with right now because of other things going on in my life. And what is slow and steady might actually be faster than it would have been had I not asked for fast, fun, easy, and simple. Demanded, claimed, fast, fun, easy, and simple. I, I've got to correct my language. I keep, you know, I, I got... I got into a habit early on in my journey of asking the universe for things, but it's not. It's commanding. It's claiming. It's deciding. This is what I want. It's putting the line in the sand. This is what I demand, and I'm accepting nothing less. The way, that's the unknown. The way is going to show up step by step by step. You got to be willing to see it. You got to be willing to listen to your intuition. And then you got to be willing to take the action. I shared something in um, the Manifestation Lab. I've been ta talking about the prosperity experiment, right? <laughs> we are creating perpetual prosperity prodigies in there. <laughs> I love that. Nobody else does, I don't think, but I love it. Anyway, so I shared a mindset shift with them, and I'm going to share it with you. And that is, it's important to decide and claim what it is that you want. But it's more important to 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 change your mind or to be willing to change your mind in order to get what you want. See, we decide we want these things and then we put all kinds of limitations on them. And it's like we decide it can't happen that way. It can't be this way. It can't this, it can't that, it can't the other thing. You have to be willing to change your mind about that. And for those of you who change your mind all the time about what it is you want, what do you want to do, you're not sure, blah, 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 it'll make it so much easier because you already have the skill of changing your mind over and over and over again. So just decide that it's going to show up fast, fun, easy, and simple. And then take the aligned actions that get placed in front of you, step by step by step by step. If you want more help with that, tonight is the official opening night of the inaugural <laughs> presentation of the Prosperity Experiment. Come join us in the Manifestation Lab all you gotta do is answer three questions and agree to the group rules and you are in. Easily searchable on Facebook, it might even be, I think I have it set so that the, the, the link shows up on the live if you're watching this on my Facebook page um, as opposed to my personal profile. But come hang out with us. We start tonight officially at seven. I still have a bunch of people to let back in the group. The only thing that you have missed so far, which is in the group for you, was uh, the introduction. And that I just laid down a couple of mindset um, changes that you want to 
work on making. But you want to remind yourself that, like I said, you know, you, you, you can make your decision about what it is you want, but you have to be willing to change your mind in order to get it. That's one of the mindset shifts that we're talking about in there. The one of the foundational ones. So anyway, I hope you'll join us. We are starting at 7 p.m. New York time. Everything's delivered Facebook via Facebook Live. I'm going to, I'm organizing it into the guide section so that if you miss that day's live, if you can't show up, because I know there's all different time zones, you just go to the guides and you'll see it. Easy, simple, fun, fast. All right, guys, remember, when you align your energy, you accelerate your results. This is Robin Jana Rosenhaus. I will see you hopefully later on in the manifestation lab. If not, I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.